but you cannot wait for motivation to turn up. It turns up when you take action. You know the words that will excite your mind and turn it on. Tell your mind where you want to go. Go there and you'll be motivated, you'll be focused, and you'll be successful because you won't be able to stop yourself. So how do you stay motivated and how do you stay focused and why do we get demotivated and defocused? Well, here's the big mistake number one. People think motivation is going to show up, going to go, here I am, I've turned up at your door and waiting to be motivated is a big, big, big mistake. Why is that? Well, guess when you become motivated, when you take action. You know, I'm very rarely motivated to clean my house or to clean my closet and even often to go to the gym. But if I start, I think I just do one drawer. I just do that area. I just go to the gym for five minutes or 10 minutes, do some crunches. I notice that what happens is action begins motivation. But when you wait for the motivation, it doesn't appear. When you start something, including sex, by the way, especially for women, you often get motivated. So you cannot wait for motivation to turn up. It turns up when you take action. So if you're demotivated, think, okay, I'll just tidy that one drawer. I'll just go on the email and just do spell check of my novel. That's what I used to do. I'm not into my book today, but I can do a spell check and do a grammar check. And then as I began, I'd be motivated. I've now written seven best-selling books. I thought I couldn't even write one. So it's always taking a little action towards your goal will motivate you to take a bigger action. We've all said, oh, I'm just going to go for a little walk and it's become longer. I'm just going to do a little bit of that and it becomes more. So you have to start in order to get motivated. And if you wait to be motivated, you'll often never start. Focus is a different thing. And again, it's like, well, I'm waiting for the focus. You can't wait. You have to take action. Waiting is outsourcing your passion. And here's what you do. You say, I'm going to say the words narrow down. I work with many, many premiership footballers. You say, I go on the pitch, I think about my girlfriend or a fight. And they all have to learn to say the words narrow down. When I'm taking an exam, when I want to focus, I say the words narrow down. That is a direct suggestion here. This is the genie your wish is it's come on. When you say narrow down, everything is fading away. Apart from the one thing I'm doing, you'll find that indeed everything fades away and you can narrow down. You can even say, I'm going to narrow down my focus for two hours and work on this script, this piece, this pitch. I'm gonna narrow down for a whole hour. I'm going to that meeting and be absolutely on fire for one hour, giving it everything I've got. And in an exam, in an assessment, when you say the words narrow down and say everything fades away, I'm totally engrossed in this exam paper. And as I read the question, my mind is like Google. It immediately finds the answer. So a lot of focus and motivation comes down to dialogue with yourself. These are some key things you can say. I want this, I like this, I'm elated about the exam. I love going to the gym. I love working out. I love doing crunches. I love doing the plank. You go, that's not true. Then say, my body loves crunches. My body loves lunges. My body loves the plank. My mind loves spending an hour working on my website. I love really getting engrossed in my business plan. I'm excited about meeting these joint venture partners. When I go into the bank, to talk about alone. I'm focused. I'm motivated. I'm on fire. Everything I say makes so much sense. My breathing is deep and steady. My voice is confident. Everything I say makes sense. And I stir the emotion of the people who are going to invest in me towards me. That's quite impressive, isn't it? But that's what you get to say, not, oh God, I hope it's okay. I hope I don't go red. I hope I don't forget. I hope I don't stumble. You are putting pictures into your mind of stumbling and blowing it. The way you feel about everything, bar none, is down to two things. The pictures you make in your head and the words you form. And the words are more important than the pictures because the words actually begin to create the pictures. If you say, this is going to go wrong. I hope it doesn't go wrong. I'm really worried. I'm anxious. I'm going to break out in a sweat. I'm going to blow the whole thing. I just know it. You are absolutely right. And if you say, Say, hey, this is my moment. This is exciting. I'm ready. When I go into that meeting, I know what to say. I come across as so thoughtful, so thorough. So before you go to a meeting, an assessment, an appraisal, take some time, sit down and say, I'm smart. I'm engaging. People listen to me. Whatever it is you want, think about how you want to come across. Close your eyes. Imagine it. Pick out some key words. I'm motivated. I'm secure. 
sure. I radiate confidence when I speak. My breathing is deep and steady. My body language is perfect. My energy level is outstanding. I know exactly what to say and everything I say makes sense. I can't really pick the exact words. I don't know what you're trying to be, a speaker, a blogger, an influencer. Are you writing a program? Are you writing a book? You know the words that will excite your mind and turn it on. And remember, your mind can't go into two lanes. I'm amazing, but I'm nervous. I'm doing this. I'm going to mess it up. Pick the good lane and stay in that lane. And have a little song in your head. This girl is on fire. This guy is on fire. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. I'm feeling great. Pick a song lyric and sing it in your head over and over again. Just a couple of bars. My favorite is Let's Get It Started by the Black Eyed Peas. Have your alarm clock wake up. That Say that to yourself and you think, oh, I'm not really in the mood today. Motivate yourself. I am in the mood. I'm making time. People who succeed, by the way, do what they do not want to do to get to where they want to go. People who fail, they will give up their dream before they do that. So decide, hey, what are the five things successful people do? They do what they don't want to do. They do what they do not want to do first. They make difficult calls first. They take action every single day in the direction of their goals. They delay gratification. They go, okay, is it my favorite series? My favorite dinner. I'm just going to do 10 minutes of emails. I'm going to spend an hour working. Then the Netflix show and the dinner is my reward. So the delay gratification, they bounce back like a big rubber ball from no. They don't hear no, they hear no today, but come back tomorrow. They see things as a delay, but never a denial. And they believe in themselves. They use very positive language about themselves. Now you can choose to adopt any or all of those attributes. If you do it, you will move towards success and success will move towards you. And remember, the lift of success may be out of order, but the stairs always work. And that's why we lose motivation. It takes too long. It's too hard. It's not working. Keep going. The mark of success is not have I fallen over? It's how quickly am I getting back up and getting back on track? Most people who are successful fail. It's how quickly do you get back up again? So get back up, motivate yourself and use those words, narrow down. I love this. I want this. I'm choosing this. I'm choosing to spend all my evenings working on this and I love it rather than, oh, this is so boring. I could be in the bar. Tell your mind where you want to go. Go there and you'll be motivated. You'll be focused and you'll be successful because you won't be able to stop yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know how you get on. See you next time. Check out my next video here.